Hello children, very good morning. Today I am going to explain the grammar topic. Let us know about the usage of articles. What do you mean by articles? A and the are known as articles. There are two types of articles, definite article and indefinite articles. What do you mean by definite articles? An article which is used to refer to a particular person or thing is known as the definite article. So we use definite articles as the, okay? Indefinite articles. An article which does not refer to any particular person or thing is known as the indefinite article. So there is a, uh, there are two types of uh, uh, articles, definite articles and indefinite articles. Let's see the usage of article A. A article is used before a word beginning with a consonant sound. Okay, so we know that consonants are 21 and uh, there are five vowel letters are there. A, E, I, O, U. Okay, so A article is used before a word beginning with a consonant sound. For example, a boy. B, O, Y, boy. So before O, there is a letter B. B is a consonant letter. In the same way, a man. M is a consonant uh, sound. Okay, consonant letter. Let's see the usage of article an. An is used before a word beginning with a vowel sound. So we know vowels are A, E, I, O, U. So whatever the word we come across starting with the vowel letters, then we have to use an before the vowel uh, word. For example, an hour, an air, an honest, an umbrella. Usage of article, the. The is used with a unique things in nature. For example, the sun, the earth, the moon. The also is used for particular person or things. For example, the man you met yesterday is my father. So we are referring to a person, then we are using the, the article. The article is used to talk about persons, animals, or things mentioned for the second time. For example, I met a boy, okay? So again, we are not repeating a boy, but we are repeating the boy, okay? The boy is very handsome. Let us see the uh, nouns. There are two types of nouns, countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns means that can be counted with numbers like one, two, three are called countable nouns. For example, chair, pens, lamps. So we can count chair, pens, lamps. Okay. Uncountable nouns. Nouns that cannot be counted and uh, we cannot put a number before them. They have no floral form. For example, water, can you count? No. Uncountable. Salt, can you count? No. Rice, hair, idea. So we cannot count. So that's why we call them uncountable nouns. Let us understand the noun gender. There are four types of genders, masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender, neuter gender. Masculine gender means a male member of a species is called masculine gender. For example, uncle, king, bull, whatever comes under male category, we put them in masculine gender. Feminine gender, a female, a female member of a species is called feminine gender. So whatever comes under female category, we place them like aunt, queen, heroine, cow. Next, common gender. A common gender noun is used for either or both males and females. For example, teacher is a common word, okay? Common gender. Child is a common gender. Baby is a common gender, student, okay? Neuter gender, neuter gender. A neuter gender noun refers to a member of a species which is neither a male nor a female. For example, tree, car, computer, eye, sky, body, okay? These are the neuter genders. So my dear students, I hope you understood the articles and uh, nouns. Thank you very much.